Hey guys, what is up? This is Dave Quinn. How are you guys doing today? We are going to be sitting here just chit-chatting. Uh, we're going to have fun. Uh, I don't know what we're talking about. I just thought I'd go ahead and jump on here and see what there is to talk about. Uh, we are now officially chit-chatting and boy, that is a lot on the mixer. Woo. That's crazy, son. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let me check a few things around here. Uh, yeah, I moved OBS over to the second screen. Hopefully. Hopefully you guys can hear me. Okay. Whoever ends up watching this. Uh, let's see. Well, since I literally have no idea what I'm going to be talking about, let's go ahead and do a little... Uh, See if there's anything good, any good news, or whatever. Hold on, help the kids be internet awesome to safer internet day. There's an internet day. Let's see what the hell that is. Helping kids be safe, confident explorers of the online world. Yeah, no thanks. No freaking thanks. I mean, not saying that you can't be allowed to have, like, you know, a safer place for kids and stuff, but then again, what you need, you don't need to make a safe internet, you just need to have good parenting. That's all it is, it's good, par it's good parenting, you know? So basically, I mean, it still doesn't hurt to be careful, like, especially if your site, you know, has prawn on it. I'm not going to say the other word, but prawn. That's, that's basically all, all I'm going to say. Prawn. Uh, let's see. But, uh, yeah, anyway. I'm just, I'm just checking out this music thing to see if, to see if this uh, works. Boy, it's loud in my ears. Turn that down just a tooch. Alright. Okay. Uh, let's see what's on the news. See if there's anything not horribly depressing. Uh, I don't know, let's try entertainment news. Entertainment news. Uh, not entertainment tonight, we don't need that. We don't want breaking celeb news. Who the hell wants, inter who wants celeb news? I mean, this is not that kind of channel. Not at all. Oh, okay, let me try something. I was just checking to see if uh, the mix sounded okay on stream or not. As far as I can tell, it is. Um, let's see. No, we don't want TMZ. What in the Ginsburg, Ginsburg makes first public appearance into cancer surgery. Who's Who's Ginsburg? I have no idea who that is, actually, to be honest. Uh, let's see. Yes, we got music. Uh, yeah, hi Zynar. Yes, I am uh, just trying something out here uh, because I kind of got the idea from if you know who Max is. Um, there it is. Yeah, uh, she was doing uh, a similar chat em up stream, kind of what I do on occasion like this. And I was thinking, you know what? I'll go ahead and give it a shot and see and see if. Let's see if it works out. I don't know if it's gonna be. I don't know if it's gonna. I don't know if it's gonna stick. But so far, just the fact that there's music going, I, I kind of like it. I I tried finding some a royalty-free YouTube playlist, so that's kind of what I'm doing. So hopefully, uh, here on Twitch and on YouTube, uh, we don't get flagged or copyright <laughs> strike struck struck copyright struck. Uh, yeah, so hopefully that works out. Um, let's see. Hold on here. Trying to find... I have, like, a bunch of tabs open here. Oh, there it is. So I can actually see the chat a little bit more clearly. There it is. Anyway, though. Yeah, uh, I don't know. I don't know what you think. If that's... If it's something that you'd want to see more of. I, mean, I kind of like it. It kind of gives me more of a... Um, Things a little bit better, especially during uh, awkward, uh, awkward silences. <laughs> it's kind of nice, to be honest. Um, 
Let's see, let's try, not entertainment news. We're starting soon screen. Oh, that's kind of cool. Um, yeah, you know, it's one of those things I never really thought about myself, but, you know, I guess, uh, you know, I, I, I want to be able to learn as much as I can when it comes to streaming if I'm going to be doing something like this. So I thought, why the hell not? Um, oh, I know, how about table top gaming news? And, uh, so yeah, I, and I think as far as my personal news goes, um, I'm sure for those who have been on, um, who've been following me on Twitter or Instagram, I got the Starfinder book, got a little bit into it, uh, hopefully I, hard, I definitely want to try to read as much of it as I can, um, because, you know, of course it never hurts to read the entire book. Uh, or as much of it as possible, but I feel like I kind of want to be able to play it to maybe try like a, a session or two, like a one shot, and see how that works out. Um, yeah, I think that'd be kind of fun. And it's definitely, since this is also a Paizo, a Paizo book, it, it feels a lot more, I don't know, solid, I think, than, than Pathfinder. Because the Pathfinder books, you know, when you open it up, it almost feels like the book's going to fall apart, especially in the binding part of the book. It, it feels weird. Whereas this one feels a lot more secure. And I, I like the quality of the pages on the, uh, uh, in this book. And, excuse me, what the hell was that? Um, I like the, and I like the artwork for sure. Kind of how this one is laid out. I like the artwork on there. Uh... And from what I've seen so far, I really love how this one actually sets up, like in terms of character creation, in both Pathfinder and 5th edition of D&D, if, if you want to create a character short of someone helping you, you have to go throughout the entire, pull it back and, back and forth between everything, you know, or through the entire book to find out how to create a book, especially, or create a character, especially if you don't know how to do it. Um, yeah, it is. How do, do you have Starfinder? I'll find out in a second, I guess, if, if, if uh, you do or not. <laughs> um, but, uh, like here, in the beginning, very beginnings of the book, on page 14, it actually tells you how to create a character. Like, the step-by-step step step, step step instructions, that's really nice. I like that. Um, yeah, I mean, it might be slightly basic. But yeah, step one, create a character concept. Two, choose a race. Then choose a theme, which is kind of like the background, except from what I can tell of D&D. &D. And then you have choose a class and finalize ability scores, then assign skill ranks and choose feats, uh, then buy equipment, then fill in the finishing details, and that would be it. Yeah, I mean, kind of the same thing too, I guess a little bit. Um, I mean, like I said, I'm only on like, God, what page is this at this point? Page 22. I haven't like read a ton, uh, a ton of it. I mean, it seems like, you know, the character creation seems to be pretty basic, uh, in terms of the steps that they give you, which is kind of nice. So I felt like when it comes time for me to create something, that's when I'll maybe follow that, but... I kind of wanted to learn things about like, oh, you know, the hit points and the stamina system and the resolve points and stuff. That That's kind of different from either Pathfinder or at least 5th edition D&D, where I'm assuming any version of D&D. Because, yeah, it's, it's kind of weird. It's kind of cool. It's weird. It's different, but it's kind of cool. It makes sense, though. Um, but, yeah, I really like, I like the quality of this book. It's really cool. Um... Let's see. Uh, let's look. Oh yeah, we could do a, some tabletop news, and which would be kind of cool. Uh, then I'm thinking about maybe after that I can look at Kickstarter as well. See if there's anything on there. So I'll type that in. Uh, let's see. Might and Mystic RPG up on. Oh, Might and Mystic Fantasy RPG up on Kickstarter. Have you ever wanted to play uh, an RPG, but the rules just seem to be getting in the way of letting you build the characters you want and telling the stories you want to tell? And I got a thing. 
Oh, someone sent me an attachment. Yeah. I don't have as much time to learn a new system. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, and I think what, I think that for like myself, what holds me back from learning uh, like a new system isn't necessarily time per se, um, but for me it's more of the fact that it's very overwhelming. I mean, for the love of Pete, you have a book that is this thick. That That's intimidating. And especially when I like, I personally am used to fifth or uh, fifth edition, where it's you know probably half that size or something. This is pretty big. Uh, like this one is well, well over 500 pages. That's a lot more information uh, to, to, to go through, thus making it more intimidating. Um, but like myself, it's more like, I, I it's not that I'm against reading the book. I feel like it, how I learn best is like, if like, oh, you know, if you, if you knew the system, if I'd be like, hey, can you help teach me how to play Starfinder or Pathfinder or D&D or whatever, I would ask you and be like, hey, can you do this for me or can you help me out? So, you know, to kind of help get a character out fast, faster, and then we can start playing and then kind of go and then go play as we go. And then that way, that way, when I start getting hanging back in the system, then maybe I can start looking through the book and getting more of the fine details down. That's kind of how, I feel like that's how I learned the best. You're an old grog playing my old system. Uh, yeah, you know, that, that, that makes sense because I think I personally, the only book I think I really read through the most of, I think was, well, just 5th edition, actually, because I have, I, I guess I read a little bit of my of the 4th edition D&D, but I never was able to learn, really, I never really learned that one, so I know because I, I haven't played it, but then you have something like Pathfinder, which I do play, but I still haven't read through the book yet, because again, much like Starfinder, that's a lot of material to go through. That's it. And again, slightly intimidating and so much more crunchy than say fifth edition, which is freaking crazy. Um, and you know, I'm, I, I'm kind of the same way where I'm kind of old. I've, you know, I, I stuck, I, I, fifth edition was the first official one that I really read through from the book and, and then learned in, by actually playing and that's the one I stick with like 95 99 percent of the time you know it's a little loud okay let me Okay, hopefully that's a little better. Hopefully that's better. Okay. Uh, okay, so how, how does this sound? Am I coming in any more clear? If so, oh my God, yeah. Pathfinder, I mean, I look at Pathfinder and in terms of the crunchy, it's good in that there's it gives you more detail. But at the same time, you know, at the same time, that is kind of intimidating. But at the same, same time, time, it, there are points in, okay, cool, cool. But yeah, at the same time though, I'm thinking like, oh my God, there's, there's aspects of Pathfinder, certain crunchy aspects that go a little too far. There's almost too much crunch, like almost, almost ridiculous crunch. Uh, I mean, to the point where it's almost ridiculous, like how much information is in it. It's like, come on guys, you know, I, I don't like that so much. I mean, there's certain points like, you know, like, oh yeah, you know, if you want to find out what happens, you know, if you're in full suit of armor, like what, what do I need to do? Like if I fall, if I'm on a ship, if I'm a paladin in full armor, I fall over a ship in the middle of the ocean, how well can I swim? 
Well, rather than just saying, oh, you roll with advantage or roll with disadvantage in 5th edition, you know, on, on your, like, maybe on your athletics check or something for swimming, you would say, you know, you, you take this particular negative modifier to your swim check, which is fine. Okay, that's fine. That's cool. You know, whatever. But yeah, there are certain things. It's a, it almost, I just feel like it almost goes too far. Just a little too damn far. To, it's ridiculous. Um, but that's kind of why I like my fifth edition. It's like, maybe if I had learned, maybe if I had started from like 3.5 or something, um, or, or Pathfinder from the get-go, that might have been one thing. Or if I would started with even fourth edition, that would have been one thing, but I started with fifth edition, and that's kind of that 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 that, that, that that's kind of my that's kind of my thing. That's that 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 is my jam of a system. I don't care what other games I've played. I played Pathfinder. I've played oh my gosh, I've played I've played G uh, Gimps. I no not Gimps. Gerps. Gimps. That's a whole different thing. I've played Fate. Fate's pretty good. I like Fate. Uh, that's pretty good. Um, my crunchiest game system is, is Palladium, uh, oh, Palladium Games, and it's not as bad as pa Pathfinder. Well, thank God for that. <laughs> thank God for that. Uh, because if, 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 if you show me a game that's any crunchier than Pathfinder, I don't know. I heard... Even though I think I may have the, was it Warhammer Four Thousand? Like now I know the the actual. I know there are two versions of Warhammer tabletop stuff. There's the tabletop RPG, and then there's the tabletop, uh, not battle game. But you know, anyone who who knows anything about about that uh, about Warhammer Four Thousand knows probably knows what I'm talking about. But like something like that, it's just it's freaking ridiculous i guess just how detailed that game is um but to be honest i don't know much about it so i don't know but uh yeah but also i'm hoping to be able to do more chitty chat kind of streams like this more often rather than my once a week games because i know i've been doing a lot more stuff on thread raiders so I'm hoping to be able to do more of the sit down, chill out kind of games, rather chill out kind of things, streams, rather than the video game stuff all the time, because that would that would be kind of crazy for me to do that. Um, Traveler's really crunchy. Never play it though. Yeah, I've never heard of Traveler before. I haven't heard of that one. Uh, I'll, 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 I would ask, is it any good? But again, you haven't played it. I don't know what it's about. I mean, like. I don't know if it's a, I don't know if it's a fantasy game or if it's like, you know, Starfinder where it's sci-fi or what. Uh, um, oh, what? Why is it playing Christmas music? Wait a minute. God, my God, I sure hope this is, uh, I hope this is legitimately, uh, royalty free, I hope. Good Lord. Um, but, uh, do, 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 do. But, yeah. Anyway. Uh, to, to, to see what, what what other kind of so might and mystic. It's on Kickstarter. Let's see. I mean, that's a narrative adventure game. Let's see what that's all about. I'm gonna um from the campaign. Might and mystic was born out of an idea to bring the narrative forward within a traditional role playing game. Sounds sounds to me a little bit like um. Uh, Sounds a little bit like, oh my gosh, what was it? Uh, fate. Let's see. Oh. What? 
Um, let's see. If I'm not mistaken, you can generate a character which can die at the end of the creation process. Wow. Wow, dude. That's... Really? I mean, that's an interesting mechanic. I mean, I mean, as long as it makes sense, I suppose. I hope it makes sense. Uh, because it would suck. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, I'm thinking this one game on YouTube. There's this one channel called Puff and Forest, where he, where the, the 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 guy who owns the channel, he said he was playing this game. Could it might have been Traveler, where you can do all these things. Well, may, okay, maybe this is a totally different game. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. Agent such. Okay. Um, but like where, you know, throughout the whole, you, you create your character as you play. Not like fate, necessarily, but like you you do all these things, I guess, where you're role-playing, and then you finally, finally get to a point where you create your character, and then you're finally done, but yet you're role-playing at the same time or something? Maybe I'm totally out of whack with that i don't know i'm i'm potentially out of whack uh but it definitely sounded like an interesting deal where you know you where you don't even oh no it's like or maybe i'm thinking like, you know, like based on your like you don't necessarily say like you know the when you roll your characters you don't just like roll for your stats and then and then you pick everything you want to and this is my character like you would in D, &D right where all these ro all the roles that are made will determine the outcome of your character. You don't get to say what your character, like how old your character is or what your character's uh, stat, well, stats are, I think. I'm sure stats are obviously rolled as well. But you get, but you have to roll what kind of job you, you do, what kind of career you have. Uh, you know, what, what's your wealth? Like, all that kind of detail, you know? And then, yeah, it's like... Uh, so I, I don't know if that's the same one or not, but I'm a big fan of level-less systems. I think, you know, in that case, I feel like... Um, I think... Fate might be a good system for you. It's not too horrible... Uh, of a system. Hold on, let me go grab the book. Because with fate, yes, it's a, uh, let's see, where it's, it's more of a, as, as the back of the book here describes, it's more of an engine. Uh, let's see. Uh, do, 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 do. Let's see if there's a better description. Because it's been a while since I played this game. Um, let's see. The basics. Let's, let's check out the, the basics. Um, yeah, so, like, as an example. Oh, at the very least. So, I, one thing I could definitely describe for this particular system is that... As you play, or like, it's not like D and D, where you're pretty much guaranteed that it's gonna be in a medieval fantasy or Starfinder, where it's gonna be like in a more of a sci-fi fantasy world, or some other system where it's like, um, where it's just fantasy or like Western or. Or whatever, you know, where there's a set, certainly uh, some m more of that definitely set parameters of of the setting. Or here, you and your entire group gets to create the setting from scratch. And where you would start out, like, okay, what kind of world do you want? You could say, like, um, well, I like westerns. You know, one person must say, I like westerns. But then, like, okay, well, let's go, let's go with that. Uh, but... Is there anything else to this Western world? Do we, you know, sure we could make it just be a Western game and that's it. But where's the fun of that? So someone else might say, well, 
uh, well, you know, I like sci-fi. Okay, well, well, let's make this a, uh, a sci-fi western where maybe there's lasers, like laser guns, instead of uh, instead of your standard six shooters and shotguns and things like that, um, where everything, all the the weapons that the characters use are all high tech weaponry from like like alien or futuristic weapons or something. Um, but then someone might say, okay, that, 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 that sounds like a cool setting, but I, let, let's throw in maybe just a, just a wee bit of magic in there too. And then like, okay, well then there are wizards in here, wizards and spellcasters in there too. And then from there, you could say that there's a collaboration, uh, like in terms of that, that'd be the overall setting. But then you say, okay, well, what's like the conflict? What's the, what's the conflict in the story? Um, you could say like how, uh... Oh, hi. Uh, <laughs> um, where you have, um, if you have West, old-fashioned Western with high-tech stuff with with some magic thrown in, you could say that um, there is a, maybe a war going on. Like the conflict is that there's a war between the gunslingers using this high-tech, you know, weaponry and the magic users or something right so i think i think that'd be kind of cool um and i don't know like and then from there you would then then everyone as a group would start creating characters so like i might point so i might point to you Zynar, and say well what kind of character you know would would go good in this in, in this setting oh maybe you're a gunslinger uh you know maybe you're a sheriff and, um, and, you know, and, and you're all for the high tech stuff, but then I might point over here to that girl who just jumped in here and she might say, well, how about, okay, well, in this case, maybe I'm a magic user and maybe that could be the starting of a party or something where, you know, you two, you, both you guys, although you guys are on the opposite ends of this war between the gun the high-tech gunslingers and the magic wielders you guys are now are you know you guys want to come together to find a way to 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 discover a resolution to everything uh to to, to you know to this war and stop it and then boom you have that um you know all this kind of stuff and 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 the uh see is there a and then basically the character sheet is basically looks kind of like this um, yeah, and so it's not, oh, it's not, it's not overly, like, complex. It, it's pretty good. Um, so you, and, and you just have, you know, you'd, you, and you would create different asp aspects of your character. So, like, you know, you'd say, like, what's the high aspect of your character? What makes your character unique? Um... And then, of course, similar to like D and D fifth edition, you would make them uh, into you. You would give them like a trouble or a flaw, like in D and D. Yep. And then, and you can literally create your character. You can and this, and then the skills that you put in would be you could put in like uh, in these uh, skill boxes here. There's you know there's a list of skills and stuff that you can put in. Uh, that there, there's a list of skills in the book that, you know, like say if you're a gunslinger, you might say that shooting is going to be a high level, it's going to be a great or a plus four skill. That's that's probably the highest you can go because again, you're you're a sheriff, you've been gunslinging all around the joint, so yeah. But but say you know, but as far as crafting goes, maybe that's not as good so that might be a low like a plus one or a plus two or something skill um and you if you wanted to you could put in all your skills right off the bat before the game start before the story before the narrative officially begins or you can wait leave leave most of if not everything blank if you want and fill them in as you go and that is really cool that's what i love about fate 
And it also, and the, the game also uses, it does not, it doesn't use traditional uh, dice, like, you know, the normal D6s. I mean, it does use D6s, but it uses fake dice. So you have, you have these D6s, so where it has the little minuses on it, it has pluses, and it has blanks. And you would roll, and for every type of skill or ability check you roll, you would you would take four of them. You would do it. You would do that. I'm not gonna sit there and remove the camera, but in this case, I rolled three pluses and a minus. And like, say, if you had shooting as your plus four, if you were trying to shoot something, or like a bad guy or something. I, and if and if I and if this was your roll, that'd be the that'd be you you take what you rolled here, so that's three three pluses, so that's plus three, but then a minus, so you'd get a total of a of a plus two, and then add your shooting score, which is a plus four, so you'd get a total of six, and then you might say, okay, that's actually a pretty good score, that's a pretty good ability check, so you know you hit that bad guy kind of thing, um, sort of a sort of a situation, so it's 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 pretty cool, it's pretty fun. Um, and the cool thing is that, that this game can be, um, dealt with in terms of like, you can, you can play like, they, they can be like really short games, like one or two session games, um, uh, since it is more of a simple character sheet and everything. So it's not like a D and D character sheet or a Pathfinder sheet or a Starfinder sheet or something where it's a lot more complex. Um, you know, so so it'll be more up to you how and your group how how often you really play. So I I kind of don't. I mean, it's not impossible to have like a like a year long fate game with the same character sheets. But uh, it's not impossible. But I could see. I I feel like fate is something that you'd see more with like. Maybe one session, two sessions, three sessions, maybe five sessions or something, or more something a lot shorter than a year long camp uh, campaign. So, so I think it's that that that's really nice. That's I think uh, I think Fate's a really pretty decent game. I'm definitely not an expert on it, and I even even though I've had this game for a while, I have not gotten to really read through the book. Which is kind of unfortunate, but I feel like you know, if I know that that I'm going to be a player, and then there's going to be the if I know that the GM is going to be someone who knows more about the game than I do, then I'll be like, okay, then I'll just kind of then I'll just I can just ask questions, kind of a thing. Um, even though even though I know that's kind of cheap. That I really probably should attempt to read the book and really try to study it, you know. Oh, okay. All right. Um, let's see. <laughs> oh, come on. Where's my moose? There's my moose. Um, okay. Let me check something here. Yeah, I've been streaming about a half an hour. I don't. I'm not sure how long I'm really gonna be streaming. But I, I do, like I said, I want to get on here more often, and I hope the even if it's like some half-hour streams, hour-long streams, maybe even a two-hour-long stream, I want to do that. And like you were asking me earlier today about the, um, uh, what was it, the character creation? So I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind doing that again. I just don't know how, how often I'd do it because. It will, because you know it's funny, and unless there's a reason why. So as an example, I was able to have four sessions worth of character creation video streams with 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 the carnival game that you and I were a part of with TK and CA. Um, like I think all four of the characters I used in that game, I created through that through 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 these streams, and I think that I, I kind of feel like that's something I would like to do again if I know I'm going to be creating maybe i could create another batch of characters for for something like that again i don't know we'll have to see it all depends on on the on the uh situation um but 
Uh, let's see. But yeah, again, it looks like this Might and Mystic game. It looks like it's more narrative driven, apparently. Uh, it's also a new fantasy world. Uh, you know, it's like nothing that, not that there's anything wrong with, you know, the medieval fantasy kind of stuff. It's like we, if we wanted to play fantasy games, well, like a, uh, especially medieval stuff, I'll go with d and I think, or Pathfinder. Uh, let's see. Let's see, and I'm getting text all over the place here. Um, so someone just talking to me about anime, that's cool. Um... Okay, I'm not as engaged tonight. No, oh, hey, no, that's that is totally cool. Because to be honest, I'm not. I, I don't know how long I'm going to be streaming anyway. If you want to go to get some sleep, man, go get some sleep. Um, that I really all this was was just a test for me. So it's all good. I, I kind of uh, so I'm probably going to watch this back and see how it kind of turned out. But uh, yeah. So, um, I wanted to, uh, I just wanted to do more of these streams like this, and I also wanted to test this music, music thing, so, so it's all good, it's all good. Oh, there's a Starfinder Adventure Path, which I'm probably not going to bother checking out, because I don't usually get the Adventure Paths, except for D&D. &D. Um, anyway, but I think to, I'll put you out of your misery, <laughs> I'm going to hang out. Um, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm I'll probably go ahead and let you go. I'm probably gonna get out of here myself um, So yes Okay, yeah, so definitely uh, thank you so much for hanging out though today, man um, Oh my goodness all the all the notifications. Oh my god, but yeah um, So let's see So yeah, go get some sleep. I'm gonna go and Start kind of winding down myself and then I'll probably be on the Thread Raider channel tomorrow night with TK as we're doing whatever it is we're going to do. We haven't decided what we're going to be playing yet. So, uh, but yeah, until then, though, we'll see you later and catch you on Thread Raiders uh, tomorrow night at 6 o'clock Pacific and 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern. And on that end, I will see you later and have a good night.